everybody! Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We are back at Super Nintendo World. Here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Or today we're going to Toadstool's Cafe and we're gonna get one of everything. We're gonna have all the appetizers, we're gonna have some salads, we'll have all the entrees, we'll get the desserts, we'll even try the kids' meals and the drinks. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? There's only one restaurant in Super Nintendo World, that is the Toadstool Cafe, and we're gonna go inside and eat one of everything on the menu. And of course, what's the first thing you have to do when you come into Toad's house? You gotta get a prize. I'm gonna go with the big one today. Yes! I got an extra life. I'll take some coins. You can always use some more coins, am I right? My name is Chef Toad. First up, we're gonna start with the appetizers, and I got myself the Toadstool Cheesy Garlic Knots. These are mini mushroom-shaped knots brushed with garlic butter, Parmesan cheese, parsley, and a side of marinara sauce. Currently, this is one of only a few vegetarian options on the menu. I'm sure they're gonna add some more later on, but I'm not sure if you know this. I'm a connoisseur of garlic knots. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this out. Look at how cute that is like mushroom shaped. I know, they're adorable. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. It's a little bit more Parmesan than it is garlicky. I wanted it to be more garlic. This is one of the new items on the menu that isn't in Japan at their Super Nintendo World. This is exclusive to the United States. Over there, they got like a pizza bowl and they got like oh, a yeah, it looks so good. mushroom pizza. Bring that here, I want the pizza bowl. This one is just okay. I give it like a, two and a half out of five Peters. Next up, I'm gonna try one of the salads. This is the Piranha Plant Caprizi. This has tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, asparagus, basil pesto served with mixed greens, shaved radish, and apple vinaigrette. And I just gotta say, this is one of the cutest food theme park dishes I've ever seen in my entire life. It obviously looks like the classic Piranha Plant. I even love that they cut out little circles of the cheese to put on there. That's a nice touch. As of right now, there are no vegan items on the menu. This one is just vegetarian, obviously because of the cheese, but this is the only gluten-free option they have right now. So I'm excited to try this. And it looks like there's even some mushrooms on the salad. That's a nice touch, because we are in the mushroom kingdom after all. There's mushrooms on everything in, yeah. in this menu. I gotta ask you, since Toad is the cook, does that mean he's like a serial killer? He's like cutting up his like, all his mushroom friends? I'm that's just saying. That's obviously what it means. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really morbid. I didn't even think of it that way, but you're absolutely right. Toad cannot be trusted. <laughs> I'm very pleasantly surprised by this. The dressing that goes on the salad is nice and light and refreshing. The cheese and the tomatoes seem fresh to me. Like this is nice for a theme park caprese salad, something that I've never had before. And bonus, it's cute. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Really? I like this a lot. I'd probably order it again. Huh. I mean, the plus points, you get to murder one of those piranha plants. That's true, yeah, they're evil. <laughs> For the price, I feel like they should give you a little bit more cheese. A little bit more cheese and tomatoes. They only really give you like two pieces. Not only is the food themed really well, I wanna say this is probably one of the better themed restaurants in all of theme parks. So we're in Toad's house and the windows overlook Mushroom Kingdom. You get to see into the kitchen, you get to see into the world, and everything is themed with like this fake faux wood. The mushroom in the center is obviously the centerpiece here, and just like in the game, 
you get to come into Toad's house and get some of get some like power ups, some random power ups. Every twenty minutes or so, Bowser shows up and all the little mushroom guys go running. It's fun to watch and it's like you feel like you're in the middle of things. It almost feels like we're in Rainforest Cafe. Remember how in Rainforest Cafe it used to like <laughs> it does. And there's a lot of seats in here. There's 265 seats. There's booths, there's tables. They'll put you at a place that is sizable for your party or what you ordered. For us, we ordered the whole menu. So they give us a long table. In Hogsmeade, they have butter beer. In Galaxy's Edge, they have blue and green milk. Here, in Super Nintendo World, they got the Superstar Lemon Squash. This is honey lemon soda with mango stars and assorted tropical bobas. Yeah, and this is something straight from Japan, right? It is. Actually, Japan has two drinks. They have like this lemonade that's like hot lemonade Ooh. with whipped cream and like a star on top, but it gets cold in Japan. <laughs> I hope they get more drinks here. Yeah. Well, let's try this. Look at how cute this cup is too, with like the little stars and stuff. Yeah, I like it. This drink, like everything here at Toadstool Cafe, is very Instagrammable. That's good. It's like a honey lemonade soda and the the bobas are deliciously tropical it's, it's a mixture of flavors that i didn't think i needed together but i really like five out of five peters wow i'm shocked i like this a lot wow okay let me try it do you think toad drinks this all okay let me try it okay fine this to be is... honest with you you add boba to anything and it like brings it up uh, Peter for me. It just makes it so fun. I think I like this better than the, right outside of the land. They have a little drink stand with these specialty drinks that we tried not too long ago. I think I actually like this better. I agree. It's so good. Ordinary Adventure Star. Just like the stars on the cup. Oh, it is, it, it, it's not the normal Ordinary Adventure Star. It's the star from Super Mario. How did that happen? Wait, Nintendo, don't sue us. <laughs> this is good. So I feel like for a theme park, they actually have a lot of salad options here. I'm gonna try another salad. This is Yoshi's favorite fruit and veggie salad. This is mixed greens with star fruit, strawberries, blueberries, radish, mushrooms, tomato, cucumber, and Yoshi egg croutons with raspberry vinaigrette. Wow, there's a lot in there. There's mushrooms in there? There's mushrooms in everything. And cucumbers? I don't see that anywhere. How cute are those Yoshi eggs, though? Yeah, they're so cute. Yoshi is one of my favorite characters. I By the way, this is not vegan either, and it's because of those Yoshi eggs. So if you wanted to have something here that's vegan, you could get these and then remove the eggs. So I'm a little bit confused because on the ingredients list, it said there was tomatoes and cucumbers and mushrooms. And I don't see any of that in here, but I do see the addition of pineapple. And this salad is so, like, fruity and flavorful, especially with that raspberry dressing. It just adds like that extra Yoshi kick to it, if that makes sense. This is very, very refreshing. If you if you like a fruit salad, definitely get this one. A three and a half out of five. Well, you know what? It gets five Yoshis because it's his favorite salad. I just want to say that how cute is it that the napkins and the cups here all say Super Nintendo World, it's all customized. It's just not some generic Universal Studios cups and napkins. I love it. Anyways, I'm trying the dish that Kitra tried on our first visit and that's the Superstar Chicken Salad. That is a romaine and cabbage mix, grape tomatoes and mushrooms topped in a creamy mushroom truffle dressing topped with the Parmesan Superstar Star Croutons and grilled chicken. And this is an item that is not in Japan, so it's exclusive to here. Kitchen didn't like it too much. I didn't. Get I liked it, it's just very truffly. Well, you know who likes truffle? This guy? Yeah, so maybe you'll love it. No, don't <laughs> kill me! Oh my god, you monster. Well, you know what, we, we like to eat him for the infinity, right? <laughs> you mean invincibility? Oh, <laughs> invincibility. <laughs> what, you know what I'm talking about. It's not too truffly, but it's like not good. The presentation of it is great. These star croutons are amazing. This looks great. It just tastes like a bland salad with like some kind of creamy, ranchy kind of dressing that like isn't spectacular in any way. This just tastes like ranch dressing. Like it, it, it tastes like they ran out of the truffle dressing and like this is literally just ranch. 
Well, maybe they're still like trying things I think out. That, I think that since we are still in a technical rehearsal, the land doesn't open until February 17th. I think every day things are going to be slightly different. They're perfecting it. They're tweaking it. We got these adorable mushroom sippers. One is based on the one up mushroom and one is based on the super mushroom. They're $20 each and you get soda in them. And the day of purchase, if you ever want to refill, it's like a dollar or two. Like it's a dollar super sixty cheap. something. Yeah, it's very, very cheap. So just hold on to your receipt, and if you want to refill, you can get one. And we noticed that there's no alcohol at all in Super Nintendo World, and we think that's because of Nintendo, maybe. Like, maybe they don't want alcohol served in their land. Yeah, they don't have any in Japan. Yeah, there's none in Japan, but pro tip for Universal Studios Hollywood, if you just go right outside of the land, you could grab yourself a cocktail at the Isla New Bar and then walk right inside. <laughs> We've heard rumors that they might actually have a beverage cart, like, in the land once they open. Yeah, I feel like they need to because... There's many times where I want just like a bottle of water or something and I have to come in here and wait in line and get a bottle of water. So it would be nice. Which one would you pick? Um, don't make me choose. Obviously the one up. I could always, a girl could always use an extra life. Yeah. And guess what? We're actually doing a giveaway with these. So if you want to win these, all you have to do is comment down below. Who's your favorite Nintendo character? It doesn't even have to be Mario related. It could be any Nintendo game ever. Who's your favorite? What do you love? Let us know and you can win one of these little guys. I, I like the monkey in uh, Super Monkey Ball. Good choice. See? Think out of the box like that. The menu that they currently have is going to change. We're here during technical rehearsals before the grand opening and we know that they're going to add more items to the menu. There was this Eater article that had this chef's toad short rib special looked incredible so if you aren't subscribed please subscribe because we're going to be back and we're going to have a ton more super nintendo world videos we'd like to thank trade coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's video trade coffee is a personalized coffee subscription service that makes it so easy for you to find new coffees and to make your perfect cup every month you have new freshly roasted beans sent directly to your house i love it because you never get bored of drinking the same coffee Trade partners with the country's top-rated roasters. Have a better year by upgrading your morning routine with better coffee. Right now, Trade is offering our viewers a free bag of coffee with any subscription at drinktrade.com slash ordinary. Coffee that I've really been enjoying lately is from the Portland Coffee Roasters. This is the Costa Rica blend. It is a nice medium blend with hints of milk chocolate and vanilla. It is so good. Treat yourself or the coffee lover in your life with Trade Coffee. Go to drinktrade.com slash ordinary for a free bag of coffee with any subscription purchase. And now back to our adventure. All right, enough with these salads. Now let's move on to the main courses. I'm gonna start off by trying the Luigi burger, and this is a grilled chicken burger with basil pesto, Swiss cheese, and basil served on a brioche bun with a side of truffle french fries. They have something similar to this in Japan, except I think it's like a, a green curry chicken sandwich. Why can't they give us the green curry? I love green curry. But how adorable is this freaking presentation? You have Luigi's little cap here and then his mustache. I mean, this is A plus theming right here. <laughs> I almost feel bad. It's like, I'm first I was eating the toad and then I ate Yoshi. Now I'm eating Luigi. All right. I've heard from our friend Kidder that this is actually really, really good. So I can't wait to try it. Oh, look, there's even a bell pepper in there. Mmm. I feel like I need to have bell pepper on my chicken sandwiches more often. That was good. It adds like a nice crunch. And then the chicken itself is really, really tasty with the Swiss cheese. I think like the pro tip though, is you could never have enough of that, that pesto. So they give you a big side of it and you just gotta like slather it on in there. Okay, that's too much. Yeah, I, I made a mistake. That was too much. And of course we gotta try the fries. These are some crinkle cut fries and it said that they were truffle fries. So let's try it out. Pretty good, very salty not very heavy on the truffle. They just taste like a classic crinkle cut fry. I'm not mad at it. I feel like this dish is really, really basil heavy. So if you are a fan of basil and bell peppers, you're gonna absolutely love this. I can't believe I'm doing this, but this gets a five out of five. This is something that I think like I would order over and over again here. Of course, I had to get the Mario burger. This comes with an all beef patty, bacon, mushrooms, lettuce, tomato, 
and American cheese served on a brioche bun with a side of truffle french fries. And of course, this has Mario's signature mustache and his little hat you can take home as a souvenir. Well, you know what this means, right? What? You have to do your Mario impression again. It's a me. Mario. Oh, it's no. a me, Mario. Okay, let's try this. Does this mean like Mario got turned into a burger and we're eating him? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at all those mushrooms. It's very mushroom heavy. So if you Yum. don't like mushrooms, don't get this. This is surprising. Wow. This is like one of the better universal hamburgers I've had in a long time. Wow. I'd give it like a four out of five Peters. Nice. Okay, so my inner nerd is gonna come out right now and you guys can see how nerdy I am. The latest Mario game is actually called Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. It is an amazing game. But the whole premise of the game is Mario has his hat, who actually is named Cappy, you find that out, and he can throw it and it lands on different objects and then you, he kind of like transforms into those objects. Like you could throw it on a dinosaur and he turns into like a T-Rex and then you get to play like as a dinosaur, it's awesome. So I think the theory here is that Cappy landed on this burger and then Mario turned into a burger. Anyways. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna try the Fire Flower Spaghetti and Meatballs. This is spaghetti with a mushroom marinara sauce, meatballs, a fire flower Parmesan crisp, shaved Parmesan and chopped parsley. In Japan, they actually have Yoshi spinach carbonara, which comes decorated with Yoshi egg containing actual egg yolk. Oh my gosh, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> this is cute though, I like the fire Yeah, flower. I like the meatballs. Yeah. It's a spicy meatball. Oh yes. It's a me, a meatball. <laughs> Yeah, they don't advertise that it's spicy. I mean, if, if you're a Mario fan, you understand that like a yeah, fire flower. Fire, flower, it makes sense. But it's very interesting because when you go up to the register to order, there's no description of what is in any of the, the items. So like you don't know that you're getting truffle fries, you don't know that this is spicy. So that's why you're watching our video, so you know these things. But it has quite a nice kick to it, especially for a theme park. Like, if you are sensitive to spice in any way, I would not get this, but if you like a nice spicy little kick with your spaghetti and meatballs, I would say definitely try this. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. This is really, really delicious. I like this one a lot. And I think the best part is, is that there's a little fire flower Parmesan crisp right on top. And once you eat it, you have the ability to throw fireballs. Yeah, you, you learn After Effects to put that in. <laughs> I'm not learning it. <laughs> now we're finally on to the good stuff, the desserts. All three of these desserts are vegetarian. And the one that we're trying first is the Mount Beanpole cake. This is a multi-layered Italian cake. Ooh, Italian. With a matcha mousse on top. And of course, this is themed after the iconic flagpole that you have to get after completing every Mario course. So I love this. The, the theming of this is just like, Genius. It's so easy. It's amazing, but yeah. does it taste good is the question. But does it taste as good as it looks? And I love like so many of these dishes come with these little souvenir things that you could take home. Like you don't have to give this back. If you wanted to keep it, you can. But look at that. Look at all the different layers. It almost looks like Neapolitan, like chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Yeah. And then that matcha cream on top. This is so good. So flavorful. The cake itself is kind of basic, just like a vanilla cake, but all the different flavors with all the different layers in there really make this stand out. The green on top has a very, very slight matcha taste, but I love, I love, I love, I love this. This is so good. Wow, I'm honestly kind of shocked. Not only is it cute for an Instagram photo, but it tastes delicious too. Five out of five. And this little star right on top, you, this is actually edible. This is a piece of chocolate. This, however, is plastic. So don't eat that, but eat this. <laughs> did you get infinity powers? I did. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Princess Peach Cupcake. This is a Funfetti cupcake with buttercream frosting, glitter, and Princess Peach chocolate crown. In the game, Princess Peach makes like this cake. 
They yeah. actually sell that in Japan. It has like know, the letter from I know, it looks beautiful. I know. I but hope they bring it here. This looks beautiful too, and I'm not sure if you can see that, like on top. It is glittery. You oh, see yeah. it sparkling in the sun? I mean, in the sun, in the light. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that crown. I'm so excited. This has just been sitting on the table this whole time, and I'm like, when do we get to eat this? Now. Oh, look at it. Ooh, funfetti. Yum. Okay, I don't even know how. You might need to cut it in half, or you're really going to put that whole thing in your mouth? Just like sugar overload. <laughs> yes. That bite is enough to give people diabetes. <laughs> and it's also huge. This is like enough to feed like a family of four. Look for at dessert. that. Seriously, you cut wow. this into quarters. That I think is... there's a raspberry filling inside. I have not reached that. <laughs> I'm willing to believe it. This is a five out of five, Peters. Aesthetically, my least favorite of the desserts. Like, I feel like the other ones like remind me of Mario more, but this is probably my favorite of the three. Yeah. Yeah. Strange. All right, I want to try it. And the final dessert is the question block tiramisu. This is a tiramisu flavored mystery block with white chocolate power up inside. When we had this on our first day here, Kitro came up with this brilliant idea to put random power ups in this dessert. Turns out Nintendo thought of it yeah. first. <laughs> so you can get one of three different power ups with this. I think it comes with a super mushroom, fire flower, and a star. Today we got the star. This might be the cutest looking of the desserts. Yeah. In my mind. How do you eat this? That's the that's the, the question. Tiramisu itself is kind of like a chocolatey coffee kind of taste to it. It's very light. This is like, a, I feel like if you want the huge peach cupcake, get this one. I can like, you know, I'll give it a five out of five, Peter. Yeah. yeah. It's delightful. It's good. There are also two really adorable kids meals for children nine years old and under. One is a cheeseburger with Mario on top. I love this so much. There's a little piece of corn with the flagpole there. And these are the same truffle fries. And I think what's great about this is it comes with a little dessert too. It comes with a little mystery box. And then there's also this spaghetti marinara. And I tried some of these noodles and they didn't quite taste as spicy as the grown up version. So I think it's a little toned down with the spice. And then it comes with a little garlic knot. And then the three different Parmesan crust power-ups right on top. How cute is that? I think what I like most about this is like the plates. The plates are so adorable. If they sold these here, I would totally get them. Look at that. But I think I've got to try the power-up dessert. I'm not quite sure what it is. It almost feels like it's chocolate. I thought maybe it was a cookie. I really have no clue, but it's a cute little coin. Mm. So I think it actually has a, a cookie on the inside and then it's covered in a nice coating of white chocolate. Wow, I was not expecting that. That was a nice surprise. I feel like this is a great value because this burger is actually surprisingly big. And I think this is like $2 less than the other one. So. I don't know, it seems like a good amount of food and this one comes with a cute little Mario on top. No mustache, but you get the full Mario. And of course, after you're done eating, everything goes into the trash can and the trash cans here have the banana from Mario Kart on them. I love the details here. <laughs> so I think for savory, my favorite was the Luigi burger with the pesto, amazing. And then for dessert, it's so hard. I love them all, but I think Today, my favorite was the Princess Peach Cupcake. What about you? For savory, I think I have to go with the spaghetti and meatballs. I know it sounds like a lame dish to get. It's like the least themed thing here, but that spice, it's just nice. And that <laughs> rhymed and I didn't even intend it to. And, but the burger is also good. The, the Mario burger is also great. For dessert, I think I agree with you. Princess Peach's Cupcake. Yay. I'm very surprised by that. <laughs> And of course, we're not eating all this by ourselves. No. We have friends. Here's our friend, Kidder. What was your favorite item of the bunch? My favorite item is the Luigi burger. That chicken with the basil pesto is unreal. It's so fresh and so juicy and just so flavorful for an actual like theme park like lunch. And then you have to get that 
Princess Peach cupcake. Oh my gosh, funfetti, <laughs> this like mountain of buttercream frosting that sort of reminiscent of her dress that she wears. Absolutely incredible. And I feel like if you're dining here and you don't want to get the souvenir sipper, you got to get the lemon squash. This is like a must, a must. Or get both, why not? You can never have too many things. <laughs> I just wanted to show off real quick this cool lanyard I got to hold my annual pass. You could get one to hold your day ticket if you come here. On one side it has Mario, and then on the other side it has Luigi. I just thought it was so fun, and I wanted to show off my shirt that I'm wearing today. I didn't get this at Universal, but I am wearing my Animal Crossing shirt, because that is Nintendo themed, and I'm just putting it out there. If you guys are watching Universal, Give us an Animal Crossing land. We wouldn't be mad at it. Just saying. <laughs> and you go out of Toastal's Cafe through these doors. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more of our adventures from Super Nintendo World, we'll put the videos right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes... Quaid, Michael, Lisa, and John and Randy. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Do we both do that at the same time? Yeah. Bye! <laughs>